What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. We've got an awesome fishing challenge for you guys today. So we're gonna take a stroll through the fishing department. Wait, we're actually gonna be in the craft and sewing department. Check this out guys. What we're gonna be using is thread as fishing line. Obviously, fishing line can sometimes get pretty expensive, so we're finding a different alternative to use, and we've got plenty of different color choices, different prices, different styles of thread, so we're gonna look through these and find something that we like. All right, so it looks like we've got multiple different types of threads. There's an all-purpose thread, there's a hand quilting thread, there's upholstery thread, there's thread for buttons. We've got all kinds of different stuff, so we're gonna test the durability on a few of these, find a color that we like, find something that's gonna work for us. All right, so we've tested out a couple of these different threads. The all-purpose thread does not seem durable enough for us at all. So we're gonna put this stuff back. What we found is it's actually our cheapest option as well. You get 50 yards of the button and craft style thread. So we've got a couple different colors here. This stuff is definitely way more durable. So that's gonna give us a lot better hook set ratio and hopefully we don't get nearly as many break offs with this thread. So out of all of these colors, I'm gonna tell you right now, Brandon, my choice is the forest green. Forest green? If I can grab this. I mean, 100% that's- 100% my color. Let me see this. This does actually look like braided line. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and it's a way cheaper option. Yeah, for only $1.27 for 50 yards, we're probably gonna have to get two or three of these. So we've got 100, maybe 150 yards in case we do encounter a break off. But I'm gonna go with the Yale Blue. Ooh, interesting. Yale Blue, I mean, smart kids go to Yale, right? And uh, blue is the color of the water. So hopefully that helps me out. So we're gonna take these, we're gonna get a couple of them, probably buy five or six of these. We're gonna get rigged up with these and we will see you guys tomorrow morning out on the water. All right, so it is the next day and we have finally arrived at the water. It is looking mighty good out there. We got a west wind, so pretty much the entire side that we like fishing is calm, which is really good. Real good. And we've got our thread here, so let's go ahead and get this strung up. First step is take all of this line off that we already had on this reel. So that sounds real fun. Let's go. Step two, you actually don't wanna take 100% of your line off. As you can see, there's just a little bit left, couple feet on here. The only reason we do that is just so when you start spooling that thread, it's not gonna slip on you. You don't wanna come down to absolutely nothing but thread on the bottom of your reel. All right, now step three. Nick's gonna give you a beautiful in-depth look at what's going on here. Basically, you're just tying first knot of the thread to that line that we kept down on the reel. That's basically all that's going on here at step three. This guy's got the juice. This stuff is strong, guys. I think this is gonna be real good. And you know, like you said, water's looking pretty blue, so got a good feeling the blue line's gonna do pretty good for him. Okay, final step, step four. Start putting the good old thread on it. Look at that. That blue is looking real good on this reel, I must say. I'm pretty get... jealous that uh, he got blue and I got green, but Ooh, it's looking good. That looks sexy, I'm not gonna lie. Wow, boys, this is looking real nice. There it is, okay, 50 yards. That's it right there? That's it, 50 yards. And I actually think that's all you're gonna be able to fit on there. Yeah, I don't really think you're gonna be able to fit a whole lot more on there, so. It's a little thicker. It's probably the diameter of, I'd say, I don't know, 50 pound braid normally. So you're obviously not gonna fit a whole bunch on your reel because that's just the way it is. But that should be all we need. We're just gonna be casting the shoreline. The fish are on their beds, so we should be perfectly fine. And we got the extra ones just in case some stuff really goes wrong. Step five, tying on your lure. Actually the final step, whatever you choose to use today. today yeah, we're, today we're gonna obviously be going for a uh, bass, so you know what we're gonna be using is the wacky rig. The almighty wacky rig of Northern Wisconsin. Something about it, it just proves to be the best thing ever created for bass fishing. And on their beds, you don't get better than that. So this one's all good, I gotta do mine still, actually. Yeah, I gotta do mine. This is Brandon's art. I don't know why I'm doing his, but I'm gonna do mine and hey, then we're gonna get out there. I'm just the film guy, okay? Leave me alone. And I'm gonna do mine and we're gonna get out there and catch some fish. Boom. Just like that. 
We're out. And guys, we're actually in a boat today. Brian and I have not been in a boat together quite some time, honestly. So it should be good for filming, actually. So expect a lot from the big camera, but we do have our GoPros. So we are gonna put those on, give you a little first person view. But I'm, I'm pretty excited. The lake actually has gotten more calm. So I'm really hoping uh, we can hook up with a giant bass on some good old thread. So let's do it. Okay, so let's see how this stuff casts. First cast of the day. Wow. That was beautiful, actually. That literally just feels like I'm casting braid. It wasn't uh, grinding on the eyes or anything, so I don't think tearing it will be too easy. I don't know. That, that casted really good. Now we just got to see how it holds up against fish. So the first fish is this a small guy, but that's the first fish on thread for me, and it held up. Let me, uh, hey, you're snagged. Little guy, get him back. But let's examine this thread, see what's going on. It's uh, looking like it's still in one piece. Cast well, catches fish just fine. Guys, this could be, this could be a game changer. Power move. Power move for sure. Definitely just hook set the crap out of that log or rock, whatever this is. But, okay, so it held up. Okay, so a little bit of a change of plans that's gonna happen. I uh, went in for Brandon's lure, like you guys probably saw after I caught that bass, he got snagged. And uh, the prop on the trolling motor happened to snap. So this is no longer in use. So we're gonna have to make a a game plan here and figure out how we're gonna move. We could row, but uh, we're not in the 1970s, so we're not gonna do that. My grandparents live about a mile that way, so I think we're going to go over there, well, rowing over there to the boat landing, pack up, go get the kayaks, come back, and then we're gonna complete this challenge for you guys. So that's what the plan's gonna be. We are gonna get on top of some fish, but Unfortunately, this kind of stuff happens and you gotta deal with it, but that's okay, so let's go do it. Just listen to this, guys. When the fish are on their beds, you're in shallow water, you don't wanna be ripping through the water in your boat for all those old guys, not old, sorry, I don't mean to insult you, but for all those people that were around, that are watching right now, that uh, rode a lot when they were younger, I feel sorry for you. Cause this sucks. <laughs> hey, you gotta go over there. Okay. <laughs> Going sucks. <laughs> All right guys, so we're back to the lake. We got the kayaks. That took exactly 17 minutes, 35 seconds. I timed it. Why I don't way know. Way too long. But it took way too long. So we're gonna get out there. We're gonna do some fishing. And we're gonna complete this challenge. Yes, and I have an idea. How about now, since we actually have like, you know, both kayaks, we're gonna be separated. A little 1v1 action. Like me versus you, challenge inside of a challenge. Fishing thread and the challenge is most fish. Most or? fish, whoever catches the most fish by, we'll just say 8.30 tonight. Deal. Deal? Yep. Okay, there it is guys, you heard it. And you know what, Nick caught one actually on the boat. I'm gonna spot him that point, I'm gonna give it to him. Already, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm be like that nice. That's gentleman. how confident I am in the freaking blue line. That's how confident I am, folks. All right, no more wasting time. Let's get out there. I'm gonna kick your rear. So see ya, go. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! <laughs> okay. Never, never should have gave you that point. Dude, the thread though. That's my first one on the thread right there. The thread is doing the trick. The blue is so sexy. That held up so well. I mean, not like a giant fish or anything, but it worked really good. I was surprised. I almost, it felt like he swiped at it. He hit it really hard and was swimming at me. So I thought it was a northern at first, but uh, that was a good fish. Oh boy. Number three. Come on up here. Just another small one, but hey, we're here to prove that one, I can beat Brandon, and two, that thread can be used as fishing line. That's a better one. Not a monster, but a good one. Maybe there we go. Woo, that's a lot better. Stole my wacky, but that's a better one. Probably about, I'm gonna say 15 and a half, maybe 16 inches. Would you look at that? That is number four. Just hammering on the green thread, you know? Man, oh man. 
Oh, putting up a good old fight. Oh, good fish, actually. Holy, making a dive. Saw the kayak. This one choke it? Oh, God, yes. I can't tell if there's eggs in there or not, to be honest. It looks a little plump, but belly doesn't seem too hard. It's an interesting fish. Feels like a better one, honestly. If it's a bass, it's better. Better than what I have been catching. Oh, yeah. Come here. There we go. Oh, that is definitely my biggest bass of the day. 16 and a half, my biggest bass. Nice little fatty. Thanks for playing. Gave up a good fight on the old medium light Fox River lures and rods. Really fun finesse fishing these bass though on beds. Nothing better. Take a look at this thread here. Still holding up perfect. I'm not seeing any tear or nothing in this thing. It honestly is just acting like braid. Oh, to the yeah. Another bass. So Brandon just caught that last one and we realized that it was spawned out. So we're actually getting the post spawn bite, which usually is better than the pre-spawn bite. That's a nice 15, 16. We are killing it out here. That's number six. Six for me and four for Brandon. That is 10 fish on the day already, since we've gotten the kayaks actually. 10 fish on the day for about 45 minutes on the water. Get this guy back. Oh, I had one swimming out with it. Didn't even know. Whoa, look at those matrix. Holy cow. Swimming under the yak. Come on, get up here. Oh, this one's got some fight in it. Again, pretty much just about the same as the last couple I've caught. That uh, 15, 16 inch range. Definitely gave up one heck of a fight. We're gonna release them. Feels like a little bit better one. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely better. Oh my, that's a good one. All right. Wow, okay. Well, the thread held up for that one. That's a good fish. Oh boy, choked it. Another good one, guys. Ooh, that is down and in there. Okay, well, we're gonna have to grab the players on this one. Do a little operation game again. There we go. Another bass. They fight so aggressive. There we go. Again though, I mean, that average size, that thing is all the way down in there. That is great. Okay, just like that, actually came out really easy. Nice fish. The threaded line is amazing. I think, okay, so this is my ninth fish now. I'm thinking one more. When I get to 10, I'm going to actually switch from the wacky. I'm gonna do a little popper action. There we go. There we go. This is the 10th one, if I can land it. Just a little guy. But, it's number 10 of the day for me. Just a little guy. Thread is still working. Like I said, now I'm going to actually take the wacky off and I'm gonna switch over to a small popper and I'm just gonna throw that around. See if they're gonna hit that and see if the thread can hold on. So let's get to it. Okay. Hello, hello. Ooh, that's a good fish. Oh my, hello. Okay, so Nick told me, I paddled all the way over here. Oh boy, all right, get that out of the net. Oh wow, had a lot of force on her. Not a monster, but a pretty good fish. Definitely one of the biggest ones today. Nick's telling me as I'm paddling over here that he's switching to top water. Well, tell you what, bud. I'm also doing all right on top water, I guess. Actually got a fish on the top water. No giants, but uh, you can see this. Popper is in his mouth. I don't actually believe it. There's one. Didn't crush it, but uh, just sucked it in. Jeez. Fish fight so hard on a medium light rod. 
Come on now. It's a decent fish. This one's actually uh, still got spawn in it, believe it or not. But these fish are extremely aggressive. There we go. Oh yeah, making a lot of ruckus get in there. Woo! Making ruckus just the way I like it. Oh yeah, that's probably the best one of the day. Probably uh, close to 16 maybe. Okay guys, so we just rode back to shore and we're now at the landing. It was a pretty good day out there and we just wanna say thank you guys so much for staying with us for the entire challenge. Unfortunately, I did not come out on top on this one. And it's funny because it was all his idea and he, he just thought he could beat me. <laughs> I was so confident when I got here. The lake looked beautiful. I was ready to roll. When we first came out, the fish were biting. I thought, you know what? I'll spot you that one point. <laughs> I got this. No. The one point didn't even matter because no. I ended up with 13 fish. And I only Brandon had eight. Had, yeah, eight. Or but so. that's still not a bad day. I mean, we were only for a couple hours. So we're using threat. Yeah, the number one goal of today's video not only was to verse each other, but we wanted to show you guys that you don't have to use fishing line all the time. Obviously, you've seen us do this before with dental floss, and it did work. The only flaw to that was that it was sticky and it eventually wore out. Yeah. This stuff, on the other hand, this stuff never frayed. Cheap, never frayed, never had a break off. No, not once. I mean, it really, really was good stuff, honestly. So this is stuff I would use, actually if I needed to. Yeah, if you wanted to go absolute bottom dollar, you've seen it before, go with the dental floss. And if you wanna step up maybe an extra 50 cents, that's all we're talking here. Uh, if you're doing any sort of budget challenge videos or anything like that, if you guys just wanna go out and try this yourselves, uh, I would definitely invest in some threads, some sewing thread. But did the it has today. to be the button stuff. Yep, the button, the button craft or whatever it was. Yeah, that there's stuff different really style. Worked. I didn't know that. No, I'm not I a didn't big know. sewer. I'm not a big sewing guy either. It was a good video today. I thought we had a lot of fun out here. I did at least, even though I lost. It was a good challenge. Bottom line, get yourself some thread. Get on top of some fish because this stuff works actually pretty awesome and it's very comparable to braid. We hope you guys are enjoying the challenge videos. I know we are really excited to be back doing challenges for you guys. Let us know down in the comments what you thought of this one and let us know if you have any other suggestions that you want to see from us. We enjoyed this challenge so much today that we're most likely going to do it again but instead of using a spinning rod we're going to be using a bait caster and most likely going to be using it for a topwater bass video. Oh yeah the topwater bass worked pretty well today. Overall, everything actually worked pretty well. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, make sure to give it a big old fat thumbs up. All right, guys, we really appreciate it when you guys like our videos. We love it when you leave us some comments. Tell us what you thought, if it was a good video today, if you guys want to see more in the future. As always, make sure you're part of the notification squad when you subscribe. Hit that little bell down in the bottom. So stay tuned for more Tight Lines. Men be edited.